Good morning, everyone. Oh, <laughs> I've got the wrong lighting on oh, the overhead compared to what's in front. Uh, I'll leave it as it is rather than leave the chair. It's fine. You can see me. I can see you. Well, at least your comments like I've seen. Renna's here for a happy Saturday. Thank you, Renna. Lovely to have you here. Now, it is the Daily Venom and Card Spread reading, and we are Saturday the, I had to check my calendar, 4th of December. So the year progresses and we're on a beautiful day. Well, sort of, it is. It's overcast, but it's got that calmness about it outside. So I'm looking forward to the day and what it brings forward. So good morning, Diane. Lovely to have you here too. I'm going to get into it so that we can continue on with our day without too much ado because uh, we all are busy people at this time of year especially. So tune into your psychic senses and let's go. The card deck that I've chosen this morning is the Rana George. We've had it before. It's a beautiful deck of cards, as you can see, and I just realised I haven't got my Apple Pencil. Here we go. There it is. There it is, Apple Pencil. So the Rana George Lenneman deck, uh, I just love the Lenneman decks, so they are rather gorgeous, aren't they? And there we go. Hi, I'm pretty sure that might be Caitlin. So I'm just going to paste that little link in there for everybody. If you can't see your name and you know that that's you with those little emojis, etc., just click on that link so that you can actually be seen. <laughs> I'm hoping it goes to all of them. I think it's looking like it is. So here we go. We've got just the five cards this morning but in a different layout because I like the weekends to be slightly different, obviously. <laughs> And we've got the fish, we've got the gentleman, and we've got the coffin up the top. So that's at our more conscious level of what we're going to do. And the little bit of the subconscious that we've got active today is the dog and the home, the house. So oh, now there you go, Diane. Did you click that because or you just corrected what you'd put in your um, message? Good morning. Uh, <laughs> doesn't matter does it so it is lovely to see you all here and Jody, good morning to you how am I I'm feeling really quite good this morning I'm anticipating a little bit of a um, learning day today because I'm learning a new program back end type you know in a back office type setup the CRM for those who know what a CRM is um, but it's a bit more than that corrected it oh, great Diane thank you I sort of thought it might have been that so thank you for that um, it's not that I'm a grammar Nazi but I do appreciate when people notice that they have little grammar or spelling errors and things like that I just tend to do a little bit of the automatic proofreading myself too at times uh, which is interesting into as I'm moving into another opportunity in life now, here we go. We've got the fish. Now, I'm just wondering, do I read the subconscious first and then what leads into the consciousness? I will, actually, because what we've got with the dog and the home really is that stability and that loving faithfulness, that that is bringing us our security and being in that subconscious level. It really is anchoring in for our day, that that is our comfort, our knowing that we're safe, having having that that is around and about us in that secure, you know, the, the secure sense of self-confidence, self-assurance, being ready to be a friend to all those around us because that's what the dog is, is a loyal friend. And uh, all of that that it 
it brings into our life in that even though we're not consciously aware of it in each and every present moment <laughs> good luck honey for today yeah thank you jody um i'm feel it's it's life really is bringing in wonderful uh, opportunities we just need to be open and attuned to what is next for us and i think coming from this beautiful base of that sense of security and loyalty uh, in whatever and whoever we have around and about us trust that it's actually for our higher good for that that we are meant to be stepping into you know trusting that intuitive sense that we have in the knowing that what we're moving into is safe secure and we have the backing of those who are around us in the home space as well as the loyal friends in our little fairy creatures or our not so fairy some people do have snakes and pythons and things like that you know spiders and whatnot as friends as their pets um with a dog i tend to think of them more as part of the family so it's really appropriate that here we have the loyal beautiful dog in with the home as that uh, energy in our subconscious level so that we're actually really having that focus on well the loved ones around us isn't it um so really be in touch in that inner sense for what we have and who we have around us more so the who we have around us for what we're going to be doing in the conscious level so we do certainly have in that central position a masculine gentleman a, a younger man this one is in this deck of cards it's actually the more conventional style uh not conventional um well yeah um what's conventional uh i know it starts with a c um cosmopolitan no it's a word for current <laughs> you know um contemporary <laughs> i think contemporary is the word so here we have that as being the, the central so keeping up to date being in the now type of energy but it, it is that more masculine style strength of and the outlook of being able to choose and do what we feel is going to move us forward style um, that's what I'm feeling with it we do have the fish this is the fish card it's a little hard to see them I might just bring that one up for you so you can see that more clearly um, if it will focus have a look at how playful and beautiful colors and it almost looks like it you know the dolphins the joyfulness you can see the boat in the background and all things that are um i suppose in some sense a bit emotional like it's it's happiness what i'm feeling with that and certainly the fish card in the lenerman is an abundance card that so there's going to be an abundance of playfulness and happiness and joy and the possibility of money as well coming in through the day it it's partly that it's just knowing that what your intention is uh you know put your intention out there for that joy and happiness to be in the day to to have those playful times and that outlook of of freshness lightness and being able to move wherever you want to as well because that boat gives me that impression with it since we saw that up close in this picture and bringing it in so that things that you do uh feel that you're needing to let drop off they're, they're that with the coffin it's about letting things move through so that with that free flow of what's in the fish environment as far as the waters and and that sort of sort of fluid movement and what we're going to do here it is that the the man's looking more at that playfulness and the rest not so much at this it's letting things pass that need to be let go so with the coffin we certainly are going to be able to acknowledge things that we don't need in our lives anymore and being able to have it uh, go through the right process of what is almost a burial or a grief process or whatever it needs to be it is passing out of our life whether it's by deliberate decision which i feel because it's in this upper level of what we're looking at oh look at the color the way that changed as the white went through <laughs> oh i think technology is wonderful isn't it um <laughs> so here we are we are allowing it we are choosing it we are moving it on so things that aren't serving you anymore certainly do have that choice 
to deliberately shift it on and say, look, thank you very much for your influence in my life, for what it's meant for your progress and, and pathway to have that uh, and now it's served purpose and is now moving on. So that's what I'm feeling about that. Now, did I say good morning to you, Michaela? I'm not sure if I did already. And Keza, good morning to you. Wonderful to have you here this morning, isn't it, on a Saturday morning? <laughs> um, never say never, re money. Uh, look, the abundance is what you want. It really is that that is in your intention. Uh, I don't know how, you know, there's many times over, whoops, that went <laughs> and slipped up there. Michaela, there you go with all those lovely little emojis and a yay. So I presume that might be on the money front. So never say never. Um, look, I know over the years some of what, I'm just going to switch this around like that this morning so that we're still seeing that. I wonder how that works. I'm going to shift it over there so we can still see it a little bit in the background as I'm just summarising this. This is what I like about the eCam, but I do need to shift that. It's not quite lined up to there. So that with, and I need to move there. It's just a bit matter twiddling with buttons, isn't it? Rena will be proud of me. <laughs> and um, like as we are moving into what is Christmas time and there is, uh, always the sense I feel of people not having enough because they're wanting to spend so much on gift giving and things like that. I have my own opinion around Christmas and gifts and things like that that probably not everyone agrees with. So I'm not going to share that. Um, but it it is that there's always seeming to be that sense of not enough. And I think where you say with the money, never say never, the abundance is here in the cards. Intend that. Have the awareness that what you're wanting to say, and I'm waiting for that to, to come up with never say never re-money. Money is only, it's an energy. It's a flow of what is that part of the abundance like with the fish here and all that we have in our beautiful homes and the people around us, that's the abundance. That is what is the richness of our lives. And today we're going to feel that sense of the security in that, in the flow of the energy of love that, that is our intention. Now, if you're needing to have, you know, um, you know, you're needing money and there, say, there feels to be the lack. That's what it's going to be for you. So feel the abundance of having the right amount for whatever you need to be buying, whatever you're wanting to invest in with, uh, you know, what's coming up. Put that positive sense in it. And even to the point of getting rid of those doubts, you know, that's probably the block that you're needing to bury and pass on and say, hey, hang on, I want that beautiful flow of wonderful loving energy, being able to say I am enough, I have enough, I have plenty, I'm going to move into an abundance of money and let that energy flow and feeling that money coming into you and being able to spend it out wherever you need to because that creates the flow and cycle of what is, you know, the energy and keep it moving that way. So that's what I'm feeling around that at the moment as you bring up never say never around money. Uh, Michaela, I think a very good point. And, and good things, yes, <laughs> it is. It's the abundance of what is around us. And certainly in that subconscious, you know, in that underlying factor of what our lives is, it really is about home and it is about the, the nearest and dearest creatures that we have around us in our pets in our loved ones and bringing the importance of those to the fore because it well it's not just that it needs to be in a season uh, of Christmas or holiday times or whatever um, faith you might follow as a religion or otherwise or belief system um, it is tapping into what is your inner core and understanding and connection with spirit and allow that guidance to be what it needs to be for you and your growth. So and you've been working very hard lately, Kesa, so you don't have much time anymore. Bring in that um, 
you know, the intention to have more time. That's part of what you're wanting for your abundance is more time to be able to do what you have uh, in your feeling, your senses for fun and the abundance of fun and time. Whatever your intention is, bring it in. I know there's a lot sometimes around uh, manifesting and all of that sort of thing. We are what we think. Um, it was very interesting. I'm just going to put this one up. You're right on. You're, oh, I've got to read this slowly. You're on at the right time, honey. I'm struggling with this for a bit now. I think there's many of us struggling with it because of the uncertainty of what some of the restrictions are possibly going to bring for many. Uh, that it, it, it really is that uncertainty. And you've got to look at it with a more... Um, I'm just going to shift out of the cards there with a more uh, as a witness factor to when you watch the news and other forms of media and ways that they like to uh, communicate with us, it's with the dramatic, it's with the making a sense of you've got to watch me because my news is more important than the other person's type of thing. And the headlines are to catch our attention and they're not always the truth in fullness. They might be part of it, but it's dramatised, it's magnified to bring it into our fear factor because that's the easiest way to get our attention and draw control <laughs> in some senses. Be within yourself in your own peace. Turn off the news and all that sort of stuff. Don't keep scrolling through the Facebook Look for what you're wanting to gain as your connection with friends and people that you want to keep connected with, but let go of the other parts of what you don't need, which in essence that coffin could be what it's saying to you today. Um, we do struggle at times. So, oh, thank you, Michaela. Thank you, thank you. And for you too, Keza, thank you. I love those clovers. So bring into your day that intention for the abundance, for, for joy, happiness, the love of the security of that, that that is our home space and the people that are around us. And know that self-love, that self-love for yourself and trust what your connection is with your spiritual guidance as you're moving through your day. Now, um. Yes, I think that's all I had there. Now, I was going to put these in because usually when I go, you know, point there and there, it's just pointing you to it. So I thought today what I'd do is just bring up these options. This brings it up into the chat, as you can see. So there's a link for the half an hour one. Oh, thank you, Jodie. Um, no, what I'm meaning, thank you for making sense to me. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes in the reading, it's, do you want to come up and join me one day? <laughs> I love chatting with people on like we, like I do with Leanne. It's fun, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> I'll get back to this. So that's the 30-minute reading. It then brings me to sharing the, uh, the hour reading. It can be the grand to blow or it can be any type of reading. Uh, I go with what spirit's leading me through and I'm going to actually even share the next one. There's any questions. That's a 30-minute one. And these are different because it's the in-person one where you book on the Calendly. So it's four different ways. Um, anyway, I've, I thought today I would put them there direct like that. It makes it easier. If you do want it, you can come back and just click on those links if you want to at any point. Not that the 4th of December is any special day, but it is, isn't it? Because it's another day, another opportunity to be the best you that you can be. So there we go. I'll leave you with your beautiful weekend. Uh, well, I am coming back tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. <laughs> so there you go. I'm trying to find the next comment besides, ah, oh, thank you, Renna. Thank you, thank you. Have a magnificent weekend, everyone. Uh, besides those comments that I had there, Jody, sure. <laughs> I will put the link there for an open session with guests popping in if people would like to. That would be a really fun session. I might do that tomorrow. Anyway, let's see what goes. I like going with the flow and pressing buttons, as you know. And good morning to you, Susan. Lovely to see you here. I hope you enjoy watching the replay. <laughs> 
for those who were going to be watching the replay or have already started to or popped in at whatever time. That's the beauty of the technology. It's always here now. So have a wonderful day, weekend. Keep being the best you that you can be and namaste until next time. Bye.